Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a chunky weave back off shoulder top. The Green Girls. .com. You'll need an old shirt, scissors, rotary cutter, ruler, pins, needle and thread, and cardboard. Use the rotary cutter to cut out the collar. Flip the shirt inside out and place the cardboard inside. Measure about three and a half inches below the neckline and that's where you make your first cut. Use the rotary cutter and ruler to cut three and a half inches wide strips across the shirt. On the shirt, I cut six strips but you can cut more and go all the way down to the bottom. I then took another old shirt with the same thickness and material and cut three and a half inch strips to use for the weave. Cut the extra strip so it makes one long strip of material. Take one extra strip at a time and line them up snugly next to each other. Pin it to secure in place. Now you're ready to weave. Start with the first green strip by going under the first yellow strip. Now start the second green strip by going over the first yellow strip and so on. On the last strip, it might get snug, so pull the weave tighter together to make room. Now, cut the excess material from the green strip so it's flush with the last cut of your shirt. Somebody. Take the edge of the weave and the edge of the shirt and pin them together. Try to pair them as even as possible. It doesn't have to be pretty since this will be hidden inside the top, but it has to be secure. Somebody. Now that the top and the bottom are sewn together, this is how it looks. If you want a cleaner look, you can also use a machine. And this is how it looks, flipped right side out. The bottom of the shirt is a little long, so I cut some inches off. I also cut off the cuffs, just so it flows with the rest of the top. And now you have a weave back top. This is how it looks from the side, and here's the front. You know that I can use somebody oh. So like you oh. Oh. Click on the videos below to check out more DIY videos and celebrity interviews and don't forget to sub The Green Girls dot com.